Hi, I'm Mary from Scooter Tonics. Today we're going to be upgrading an Apache 50cc scooter using MRP performance parts. This is going to give your scooter more power, more speed, and better performance. Now here's my husband, Tommy Thunder. How you all doing? I'm Tommy Thunder. Today we're all doing this upgrade on this Apache 50 with uh, MRP performance parts. We're going to put a big work kit in. Just a larger cylinder. It's going to come with the piston and rings, wrist pin and clips, uh, a larger head. We're also going to install uh, a Kevlar belt, uh, a clutch, and a clutch bell. And this is going to give the scooter a lot more performance, a lot more speed. Um, and we'll kind of show you how the steps are to go through it. So I'm going to have my mechanic, one of the guys that works here and also races with uh, the SRC race team, to uh, pull the motor out and get us ready to get the upgrade going. So I'm going to bring Rabbit on board. All right, now we're going to pull this motor. This can be done with your basic tools. We've got a 10, a 12, and a 14 wrench, uh, a screwdriver, your basic sockets. You don't really need air, but I'm going to use air just to speed things up a little bit. I'm going to start with the seat bucket, the 10 millimeter. we can unplug our wires. We've got our main magneto wires here. We've got the electronic choke for the carburetor. And the last electric wire is for the starter relay. You're going to need a 10 millimeter to loosen the nut on the top. Now we can get our vacuum line. And our fuel line. I always grab a bolt to stick in the end of the fuel line. One of the 10 millimeter bolts that you pulled out of seat bucket will work just fine. Now we've got the throttle cable. You can just loosen it up and pull it out the slot. Then you've got that out of the way. Now we can move on to the air box and the shock. The shock on this particular one is a 12 millimeter. I normally use the tire to support the frame. The kickstand is actually mounted to the motor, so once you go to pull the motor out, if you're not supporting the frame, it's going to end up falling over. Give me a hand up.
Now in this particular bike, you've got an eight millimeter nut that holds the drain plug for the carburetor. You've also got an eight millimeter nut on the head that's a ground wire that has to be removed. down here. Now what we're going to want to do is actually pull the linkage out. pieces back on the actual linkage when I'm done. That way everything's right at hand when it goes time to put the motor back on. is to unplug the spark plug wire and to just break the motor mount free. Motor away from the frame here, and we're done. 